just want to get all that, that grease and oil off of it. sure we're lined up well and this is a south bend clutch but the cool part is um, just more of a south bend clutch kit because it's actually an exetti clutch I'm just putting a little more thread locker a dab on each one these new bolts actually came with the uh, flywheel from ACT Look pretty good. They're a 10 millimeter in size. Biggest thing is just not to cross thread. That's really all it is. As long as you don't cross thread anything, you're usually going to be fine. But as you can see, I'm standing fully upright. That is the beauty of having a lift. That you can do a clutch job like this and not have to be a flat on your back or trying to reach around anything. Just nice and easy reaching up and putting everything on. Alright, so I have all those on there. I have the clutch centered using our tool here. So we're going to put them to 12 foot pounds. It's technically like 11.6. Um, I can't go that specific, so we're just going to do it this way. Well, there you go, guys. That is your clutch install. All we got to do now is put everything else back together, which is most of the work. So now that that's on, I should be able to pull it out just like that. And your transmission will have to slip in and jiggle through there like that. So for now, I'm going to shove that back in. There we go. So it'll stay where it's at. Okay. So, next step is to lift the trans on and get it back on. Well, I take that back. We're going to install our new um, throw-out bearing, which actually goes on the trans. So we'll clean the trans up a little bit throw this on, and then the trans can come back up and get bolted back on. Then we'll have to just start bolting everything back onto the trans. So, this is going to be fun. Woohoo. Alright, so we got an Eiffel Tower this bitch. Do you want the front or the back? I'll take the front. You can have the back door. Alright. Okay. This thing's heavy. It's a little heavy. So I think we should go up and put it on the right shoulder. Here, I'll show you guys this. Hey look, that is a starter in a, in a zip tie and a, and a uh, uh, master cylinder or whatever. So the funny part is, is that I asked Chance there to zip tie the starter up, but he zip tied it to the, to the master cylinder or the slave cylinder or whatever. No, I can just, they can both go out of the way, Chance. Pull them way up there and I'll get you another zip tie. But they were asked to be pulled out of the way. Well, they were, to each other. <laughs> All we did was bump the car and they fell down. So, nice shiny new everything. Looks like it's lined up pretty good to me. So, now is it out of the way? Yes. Will it stay there, you think? Yeah. No. No? Give me a zip tie. Okay, hang on. Alright, so we got the transmission back in. It was a fucking pain in the goddamn ass. Yeah, it was bad. Austin came and 
figured out that we need to lift the front of it up. Now he's eating a big old turkey leg. Like a freaking caveman. And look at him there. He's just eating that turkey leg. Eating that big turkey leg. But anyways, so we're starting to bolt stuff back together. Um, we said trainees in, so once the trainees in, you just basically reassemble everything. You put all the shifter mechanisms back on. Make sure you put the starter back on. All your wiring, all your plugs. Um, we went ahead. We torqued all the bolts, the bolts down to hook to the engine to the 37 foot pounds they require, and we're starting to put down all the put on all the brackets again. So we're just gonna keep putting her together little by little, and we'll have her running tonight. Are we coming, Austin? Oh, it's, it's coming. It's coming? Where is the... Get the axles in. We do. We got the axles in. I'm putting the bolt holes wall joint in. And then we're on to exhaust. Yep, I have to do the exhaust, the downpipe, and then the intercooler. And then we should be done. And you can go drive it. Be nice to it. Okay, I will. I promise. Let her break in, actually. Deal. Otherwise, we're going to do this again. And, and you're gonna going to kill me. And we're going to charge you double. Yeah. yeah. We're going to double the cost. Because changing gonna be a clutch on a Subaru is no fun. No. Even though we'll probably do it faster next time. Because now we've changed everything on this car that needs to be changed. Let's just hope there's none next time. Yeah. Not for, for a while. my car, at least. Not for a little while. I want you to buy more mods next time. Yeah, because we could have totally done a downpipe and full exhaust. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. Right now. I'm sorry I'm not made of money. We're putting stock exhaust back on your Subaru, and that annoys the hell out of me. I just want you to know that. I mean, you could buy me one, and I could just owe you more money. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> We're going to keep putting this on. Is everything at the end been cleared? It should. Well guys, we finally got that clutch done and back installed and we sent Hayden out to go drive the car and yeah, he went and he uh, broke it in. He drove for about 500 miles like he's supposed to and here's the funny thing. Do you see the car? It's back. Isn't that weird? It's only about 6,000 miles now, but he was racing it. So, clutch drops on... Basically a stage one clutch, which is still organic. Not necessarily a good idea. No Hayden. Bad idea with that clutch. It's toast. This was our shiny clutch. Now look at it. It's just as bad as the uh, stock clutch was. You guys having fun? Oh, fuck off, Caleb. God damn it. <laughs> I wish I had to fart more now, right now. Ugh, I don't have to. Damn it. Did anybody else wonder what they're doing? This is Hayden trying to work on a Subaru. This is what happens when Subaru owners try and work on their own cars. They beat it with a hammer because they don't know what they're doing. and beat it with a hammer. He's beating it with a rubber mallet. But he doesn't actually know what he's doing. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I do. But at least he's working his hands so hard they're bleeding. Yeah, that's true. On top of the fake. Thing. I mean, I did cut my leg. Yeah, you had a bone. Yeah, yeah. We had to repair. We had to repair that earlier. Lots of blood. Still a little bloody, but he said, "Screw it." He's gonna keep working on the Subaru. But the issue here, guys, is that Only if you remember the last video, this yeah, is the please. second time we're replacing a clutch in this car. This time we went stage three, 
Hopefully it holds up better, but Hayden drives it like he stole it, so. Always, everywhere. Yeah. All the time. It's gonna sound weird, but. I'm dropping it, so we'll see what happens. So, yeah, good times. So this time, we went ahead and upgraded them again. And this time, it's with a Clutch Masters clutch. Now, this is basically a stage three, or, I don't know, maybe a stage four, technically, ceramic-based clutch. They're a little different, as you can see. Obviously, we already got it all torn apart. But the best part is, we told him he, we were going to make him pay for it, didn't we? I'm pretty sure we did. You know my chance? We did. So, we uh, had a little fun with the car. So, to have a little fun as payback that we're doing this again, Hayden's car got some new decals. Now, since it looks like a Honda or an Accord rear end, and he's hella flush, we gave him the Honda Eiffel Tower and another little penis. So as you can see on this side, he's got other stickers. Another hidden one. Another smiley face. One on the mirror. A nice one on the gauge cluster. Rear view mirror. This one's the best one. Center. So there might be another one hidden underneath that license plate. Two. Or two. <laughs> Wyatt may have been an instigator of this and helped. I had a genius idea of slapping dick stickers all over it. Yeah. I didn't go full board like you guys did. That was awesome. So there's a couple more. Smiley face up on the rack. There's another little baby penis up there. And underneath, hood, another smiley face. And there may or may not be a couple more hidden for you to find here. So this time, maybe you'll listen to us, and you won't mess with your car so much that you burn through another clutch. Because if you burn through a stage three, you need to learn how to drive. You need to quit. You need to drive an automatic. <laughs> you need to drive an automatic. If you burn through this clutch in under 10,000 miles, we're going to get you an automatic, and we're going to make you sell this car. So, yeah. That's the story of changing the clutch in Hayden's 2011 WRX. Hopefully, we're not going to see it again, but as for now... Keep those tires smoking, not the clutch, Hayden. That's keep, a bad idea. Keep the flashing lights behind you and peg that speedo. What up, bro? Is that a dick? <laughs> Is what a dick? What are you talking about? I love you guys. What are you talking about? Oh talking my about. gosh. Hi, Diesel. Yeah. Did you put those up there? He looks guilty. Yeah, he looks pretty guilty. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Wait, what, what, what are you talking about? Is there more? Oh, yeah. Give her a good look, look over. You know what we told you last time? That... I shouldn't trust you with my vehicle? No. That uh, we were going to make you pay if we had to do this clutch again? Yeah. Yeah. All right, those smiley faces are staying on there because that's funny as fuck. Come on, Diesel. Uh, okay, that one's actually dope. Oh my god. Oh god. Really? On my mirror? <laughs> Saying I'm putting dicks in the past or what? Damn it. Alright, is that all of them? No. What'd you put underneath the car? No, nothing underneath. Nothing underneath. Over and off. Yeah, right? Underneath would have been pointless.
It's on the front. There's nothing up front. Am I blind? Just keep looking. I literally can't. Oh, what did you put in my windshield? Yeah, just climb up there. Alright, well, there's a smiley face up there. Oh, God. You guys scare me, you know that? Not really. Smiley face. I don't see any dicks on the windshield. <laughs> what am I missing? Just, uh, act like you're gonna drive it. Oh no. Oh no. Did, did you see right here? I did. <sighs> hey, the moon looks pretty tonight. You know, look at yourself. Seriously? <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah. Thank you. I only printed so many. Yeah, we only had a, a few to work with. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You Don't finish? worry, they're on the IPT because the cruiser. Yeah, there's one on this PT. Yeah, there's one on the and on the bar. And on the bar. <laughs> one. <laughs> one. Well, yeah. We're not having to change the clutch on any of those. Again. <laughs> Again. So, Hayden, are you gonna stop granny shifting and start double clutching like you should? Probably not. <laughs> you ready to finish this clutch? Yep. Let's do it. Okay, what was the point of you guys even coming to get the parts if you didn't do anything? I don't know. Just curious, what what was the point? You're like, Han? Motherfucker! And then they'll try and race you. But you, and you know, the only thing about that Honda symbol is both those guys are getting some. Mm -hmm. Those are Subaru drivers. Yeah, those are the Subaru drivers. No, those... Subaru drivers in the middle. Yeah. Oh. oh. Okay, at least it's a chick. It is a lady-driven Subaru. Oh, well, two shots. No, it's the two Subaru drivers and the Honda driver's girlfriend. Oh, oh, oh. I'll, I'll take that. I'll say oh, that. That's accurate. Did you hear that, guys? Shots fired by Hayden. We'll give you, <laughs> we'll give you a good look at his face. <laughs> there you go. Let's go. Squat go. up. All right. All right. Let's, let's put this back together so you can closer. drive it. Huh? Yep. All right. Let's, let's do this. All right, guys. So the new clutch is in. Hayden, what do you think? I'm happy. Got to drive it now. Except for all the dicks. Except for all the dicks. <laughs> so we should be good to go. Once again, guys, this is it. Hopefully this clutch lasts a little longer with Hayden, but for now, keep those tires smoking, except for you, Hayden, you got all-wheel drive. Your tires should not be smoking, and neither should your clutch. <laughs> keep that speedo pegged, and the flashing lights behind you. Later.